Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh and Vincent's Casual. I'm your host, the RJV0. So today I was looking at Galactic God's page, um, and I noticed that, I believe it was yesterday, he put up a video about being a casual player. And in that video he discussed how, you know, he no longer has the resources, you know, time, energy, money, to devote to being a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player, and now he just plays casually, he just makes, you know, fun and creative wiped out decks and stuff like that and puts them up, and he, he just kind of plays it for fun. Um, and before I go on, I want to let you know that I am not dissing on Galactic God at all. I really want to emphasize that. In fact, I'm not even really dissing on the video. It was a great video, and he really clearly explained his motives for doing Yu-Gi-Oh! the way he does it. And I think that's great. But it did bring up an interesting point that really struck me, that there's this weird misconception, or I suppose you could even call it a false dichotomy, in the greater Yu-Gi-Oh! community that creates these stereotypes for two levels of Yu-Gi-Oh! play, where either you are a casual player, where the stereotype exists that, you know, you're, um, you don't take the game seriously, you always play bad decks or, or wacko decks, you're always complaining about the meta, you're poor, or whatever, or you're a competitive player where you are rich, you, all, Yu-Gi-Oh! is your entire life, you know, you play like a robot, you only play like hyped up decks or any or stuff like that. And the issue with false dichotomies like this is that they're so polarized that it leaves a ton of people in the middle wondering where they fit into the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I know that this is absolutely true where I go for my locals at Dice Age Games. There's this back and forth kind of push thing going on between the people who consider themselves competitive players who want it to be a, a setting where they can you know, train to go to a regional or to a YCS and be very, very serious about the game. Um, and these more casual players who think that locals should be a casual setting where it's, you know, just a friendly atmosphere and people just can play whatever they want and not have to worry about being competitive. And I think there are great arguments toward both sides. But at the same time, I think that in saying that we have to choose between those two different things, once again, you're just leaving a ton of people in the middle. So the question is, do you really have to choose? And I don't think you do have to choose between um, the best of both worlds, really. You don't have to be robotic and rich and have no life to be a competitive player. And you don't have to be a casual player to, um, you know, have fun with the game, to come up with cra crazy... Um, and, and, you know, creative decks, and just have fun messing around with the game instead of, instead of just, you know, constantly jumping on the hype train um, and trying to beat people like that. Um, I think that already there is kind of a warped third way where some players get a pass to be creative and competitive, and those are, those are almost always, yes, they're very good players, but they almost seem to be a very select elite who are given the pass to do that. These are players like Billy Break and Jeff Jones, which, once again, great players, not dissing on them at all. But what I'm, what I'm really trying to get at is I think the attitude is worst in the Yu-Gi-Oh! media, in article writers and in yu gi -Oh! where whenever a person just comes out of the blue with a crazy and creative and fun interesting deck and does really well at a YCS. Yes, they get really excited about it because it's interesting, it's news, but at the same time, in almost all of these videos, in almost all of these articles, they mention something about the surprise factor. And it's almost always that a lot of the reason why this person won was because of the surprise factor, because the people didn't know what to do against them, and it really doesn't give players credit. And I do want to give credit to Mega Capital G, because Capital G, on his shows, whenever he brings up one of these decks, he explains all the good choices, and he really analyzes the deck, and he really gives credit to the players, and I think that's great. So, what this brings me to, I want to transition into pretty much the reason why I call my channel Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual. And it's not just about the fact that I like to dress in khakis and button-down shirts, although that is really fun. And yes, this video has kind of morphed into a shameless plug for my channel, but I also really want to talk about my idea of what it looks like to have a third way. Um, so I call my channel Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual because I call myself a business casual Yu-Gi-Oh! player. And what I think that business casual means is, well, the, the name is kind of like a mixed 
between um, between competitive and casual, and it's like it, you know it's a play on pop culture or whatever. It's just kind of a fun, catchy name. But what I think that it means is that you take the time to look at the meta, to be really serious about thinking about the current state of the game, and you really take the time to improve yourself as a player and get really good and make yourself, you know, competitive in that you can compete on the big levels. But you don't necessarily feel the need to jump on the hype train. You don't necessarily feel that need to, um, to go to every event in, like, your half of the country. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have tons of resources, tons of time, and tons of money for the game. You can still be very serious about it. I think that if you want to get a better idea of this, I mean, shameless plugs abound right here, but you really should watch a couple of my videos, because that's really what I like to focus on, um, is it being able to be serious and having fun with the game, just messing around with it and improving yourself as a player at the same time. It's one of the reasons why I really like sealed play, is it allows you to get creative and have a lot of fun. Sealed events are some of the most fun ever, but they also really reveal who are the best players, and it forces you to improve yourself as a player and your ability to analyze decks and create them and play against players who basically have an evil, even playing field um, to you. So I suppose if I want to leave you guys with anything, just know that you really don't have to choose and I want to get the gospel out there of business casual Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and if you want to see more videos, once again, shameless plugs abound right here. Check out some of my videos. Absolutely subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Um, and, you know, go out there and have a fun time. Play a few card games. Play competitively. Play casually. Come up with some crazy-ass stuff. And I got a jet. See you guys later.